Hello and welcome. Here's a very quick video about an, a mod for the Flight Factor A350, a mod that I had actually been hoping for for quite some time. Um, I even tried to do it myself, but uh, that didn't, I mean, it kind of worked, but it wasn't really very good. And it seems now we have a solution which is really good and quite well done. It's the Avitab for Flight Factor A350-900. It's in version 2. It has come out just recently in November 2020. Um, and yeah, it looks really, really promising. So I downloaded that file. Um, then I started up the simulator. I started up the flight factor. And yes, Avitab opened, but then I had some difficulties because uh, I had an older version of Avitab, version 3.1, which is the current release, I think. And uh, that didn't really work properly so I couldn't get rid of it anymore so it was covering my my um, left uh, uh, display and I couldn't get it to, to disappear anymore so um, I then realized oops you actually need to have a newer version of Avitab then I was looking for it uh, I just didn't realize that uh, there is actually a link and that link does not point to the standard download site on on the forum for Avitab but a different one which is this one here and they say you have to have 0.4.1 or higher and uh, if you go there you then see uh, that there is a new version this happens to be Navigraph by the way so this is a payware that you can do with, Nav with Avitab and then there is this link and when you press on this link you get a zip file this zip file contains um, a, a JSON file and a folder called plugins. You put that in the directory in the folder of your Flight Factor A350. It uses uh, a new plugin called XLua. Uh, I've seen this now being used, for example, uh, in the A310, uh, A300 from uh, Inibuilds. Um, and use the XLua because the flight factor doesn't use it and therefore he has his own script engine and he uses his own scripts to control the view of the of the aviators tablet here of Avitab. So that's what it what it looks like and uh, yeah here's you see the old version so that one you should not use um, according to what he tells us here you must have the newer version of 0.4.1 or higher. Okay, so I'm actually taking a leap of faith here because I haven't tested it. I just installed it uh, and I'm kind of crossing my fingers that I don't have to record this video again. But who knows? And who cares? Then I'll do it again <laughs> if it doesn't work. So um, there's no, nowhere to be seen this Avitab. What you can always do is you can go onto the Avitab, you can say toggle tablet, and then you get your tablet uh, and it looks slightly different. I think the icons may or may not be slightly different. You can see 044 when you go into the about, you will see that this is indeed now a pretty new version of Avitab. And uh, let me see if my charts are still working that doesn't work I probably have to uh, yeah I will probably have to log on uh, I'm not going to show you that hang on link the Navigraph account open the browser yeah so let's uh, sign in here yes allow Avitab success very good and you can, by the way, something new, you can actually add ChartFox. Um, ChartFox is a free online service. It's actually quite good. It has a lot of charts. Uh, they are not like the Navigraph charts, but they're pretty decent and the coverage is also pretty decent. So um, you can use ChartFox instead of Navigraph if you do not have a subscription like, like I do. So let's have a quick look. 
see if Munich um, there we go yeah now I can go to the airport page and I can call that up yo so if I make this dark very nice but that's now the the normal external window so let's close this so how do I get this in here well it took a moment for me to find it but it's actually quite easy you click here on options and then you go to charts and voila you have a really large sized uh, avitab being laid over your charts section so now let's see if I go to ground service now it works that didn't work with 0.3.1 as with the current uh, release um, it stayed there and it actually covered everything so that that wasn't really very good but now it works that you can turn it on or off and there's another goodie here in case you want this thing down here you say OIS to center the uh, and it will put you it will put the, the chart and if you have Navigraph you can actually see where you are so at the moment we are located at runway 26 right and you can do anything now that uh, that Avitab allows you to do including calling up the map I don't know if there is aha uh -huh. are there more overlays this was that might be new I can't remember having seen this airstrips uh, let's see ILS oh that's cool waypoints uh-huh you are DMEs oh that's cool oh yeah so the the map in Avitab has just become that much more useful because it gives you at least basic information about uh, things uh, I really like that um, this I think was oh Navigraph what low and root charts echt jetzt wow oh cool wow I am impressed so this only works if you have a subscription obviously um, but uh, yeah explain earth texture map mercator um, someone told me that it is possible to create uh, i think it's geotiffs that you can create with little nav map i haven't tried that yet where you can put your flight plan in and then it would be able to show you uh, where you are in relation to the flight plan here in 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 this map it's also quite cool so I'm really impressed now with the uh, possibilities that we have. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so Abitab is is a great thing anyway, and uh, now it has become even even better. Can you actually type here? No, so that doesn't seem to work. Ah, oh, if you call up the keyboard, it does work. I, I've never really used this. So you have your notes here. What? I uh, probably call. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you have to be careful when you type. Let's see. Ah. See what happens when I. Mhm. Mm okay. As soon as the keyboard is caught by the new Avitab. Otherwise, you need to be careful because you maybe doing things routes um, to airport not found oh try it again ADDM airport not found echo delta delta november input yeah okay so the message is a bit that might be the beta version because this is just still a beta version ah this is fantastic so this actually makes this aircraft even 
better and more versatile. Not only now did we get sits and stars and they fix it, I actually have a sound, uh, the, the, what's it called? Um, something with M sound kit, it's a payware sound improvement. Um, we have sits and stars now. I have the Avitab now. So, <laughs> this is, uh, how, how good can it get? I'm not sure it can get much better than that. So it's, it's really fantastic. What I really like uh, is the fact that I can um, use the, these taxi maps here now. Um, that's almost like in the real thing. So I'm really, really impressed and I'm very, very happy uh, that that exists. So I'm going to post the links uh, in, in the description. Um, and I don't think there's more that I can show you here. Um, let's switch it back and then it's on this side. Yeah, so I know there's a little bit of uh, space wasted, but that's just the way it is. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, yeah, but the good thing is you can still use the OIS uh, as intended. You just go onto the chart section and then you're in this fantastic thing here. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much. Until next time.